This is a race car with a difference. It has no driver. Autonomous electric racing startup RoboRace unveiled their new RoboCar at Mobile World Congress in Barcelona. RoboRace wants to create a self-driving electric racing championship where teams compete using algorithms to drive the cars around the circuit. The car is packed with sensors that provide real-time data to computers with machine learning algorithms that guide the car around the track. Once the car is in motion, there is no human intervention. We wanted to be focused 100% on software. So we created the same car in terms of hardware with open platform, with open uh, uh, access to all the elements of, uh, uh, of, of the car. And then the teams can create a unique uh, algorithms which will make a character for the car or the strategy. Robocar can generate 2,000 horsepower, but currently can only use 900 horsepower because of battery limitations. Right now, our car, like demo car, can do 186 kilometers per hour maximum speed. We're going to sweep, like, uh, develop to 320 kilometers per hour. The company recently held a test race in Buenos Aires, where two development cars raced around the track. One of the cars crashed. Like it was a, a, a mistake in software, so one car. Uh, like did the, did the mistake and crashed. Failing is a learning. If you fail, you need to analyze what happened and what to do next time not to be in this situation. So we really like that we have a crashes during the thing because this is what people want to watch. The data from RoboRace races will be used to help develop commercial self-driving cars. We wanted to show extreme cases because it will be easier to understand like if the cars can do this uh, amazing thing, so they will be okay on the roads. I uh, really believe that everything which is, which is going to happen here will go directly to the road cars. RoboRace is a partnership between the electric racing championship Formula E and investment firm Kinetic. The company hoped to have the RoboCar on the racetrack during 2017, but the company will still need teams to sign up in order to create a racing championship. It's unclear how popular the new championship would be, but RoboRace hoped to capture a new, younger audience. We see already through our social channels is that we are attracting new people who have never been in motorsport. Like with the age group of 18 to 24 who are not interested in the cars anymore. They don't want to buy cars, they don't want to get the license, they don't know who are the drivers. And they are so much interested to see this. There is a big question when it's going to be a moment where a robot will beat a human driver. I predict it's going to be much sooner than we can expect.